JDK versus JRE versus JVM, probably the first interview question that you will encounter whenever you are giving an automation interview. Or do you know that Java is both compiled and interpreted language? I think so, right? Can we run multiple JDKs on a same machine? What is the difference between JDK, JRE and JVM, right? And how JVM basically works, right? All these things, all these concepts we are going to answer in this video, right? Let's get started. All right. Awesome. So. Why it is important guys, if you don't know, Java is basically both compiled and interpreted language. Okay. So when I was asking this question from one of the QA lead, okay, let me tell you a very simple story. And he told me that, sir, Java is a compiled language because source code, whatever we have written, which is hello world dot Java, suppose it is converted to compiled and converted to dot class. That means it is a compiled language, but he doesn't know that this dot class file who is going to run JVM will run JVM is basically will understand this line by line and it's an interpreted language, right? Isn't it? So it is both of them. Please remember, this is very, very important interview question. JVM runs the white code line by line. So it will interpret line by line. It's acting as an interpreter side by side in this case. Okay. So now let's understand the difference between JDK, JRE and JVM. What is the difference between this? Okay. So if you see this diagram, right? JDK is nothing but a used to develop the Java application. For example, if you want to develop an e-commerce website, you want to develop a, a CRM, a customer relationship management system, right? So what you need, you need some development tools. You need a compiler, right? Which will convert your source code to white. You will need documentation. You will need Java things. You need a reference mechanism or a JRE.exe, right? All these things. So overall, if I tell you in this diagram, right? JDK is a bigger basket, which contains not only Java runtime as well as JVM. Plus it basically include the Java JRE as well as it includes it it also includes development tools also side by side so jdk is something that you will always install when you are working with automation if you want to create an automation framework if you are working with java then you will install jdk that's why we need to install jdk but what is jre then jre is stands for java runtime okay jre stands for java runtime right it, it is just used for execution of the program not to develop them you don't have to develop them in this case, right? JRE basically includes, you can download the public JRE also if you want to directly go to the website, you can download. So this is a website where we have JDKs available. So Oracle, you know, acquired the Java from the Sun Microsystem. So they have developed a premium version of JDK, which is available on Oracle website and a free version or a open source version, which is called as Open JDK. But there are a lot of different flavors of Open JDKs or JDKs, which, which I can say Amazon have their own JDK, Microsoft have their own JDK, Google have their own JDK, right? Oracle also sell the JDK also. Right? If you are a big company, for example, I know JP Morgan and Cho, there are, there are company that sites well, companies who buy JDKs also from Oracle, they have to pay a hefty amount if they are using the JDK feature, these features in this case, right? So this is the JDK point of view to develop your applications, which includes your compiler as well as development tool, which JDK includes the JRE plus JVM also, right? Then, then we understood the point, which is JRE. JRE separately also you can download if you want to run your Java applications on browsers, on a machine, you can go to java.com and you can directly install Java, which basically is nothing but a Java runtime environment. You don't have to develop, you, there will be no option to develop any Java program by using this, but you can run your white codes or jar files by using this JRE. Okay, this is what you can download. For example, I used to remember in the servers, for example, we are, when we are working with servers, we have to run a Jenkins var file or something, right? Those are nothing but Java, those, those requires Java runtime, that's it, in that case, right? So those things you can install. All right. The third thing which we, which is important is something called as JVM. JVM is basically used to run your dot class file, which is nothing but your white code to understand. It will understand one by one. JVM basically in, includes the class loader, how it will handle your methods because in every Java program is class methods and statements, right? So it will handle your class loading. It will handle how method area will be there, string constant pools, object area, how your objects are stored, stacks, how it, we have to keep everything in stacks. 
registers execution of a native methods and the libraries and everything jvm basically it uh, will they basically explain everything in this case okay so if you want a separate video for jvm do let me know in the comment promoter we need a separate video for jvm explain us the jvm architecture which is important for an automation perspective also so in a nutshell in a nutshell if you see if we have a dot java file right which basically what we do is a, there is a compiler known as java c which which mostly it is made in c c++ this compiler basically converts into dot class which is a byte code this byte code can be run by jre basically give this responsibility to jvm and jre basically con and contains some other libraries also side by side so i hope this this I cr this diagram basically explains everything so jvm is the shortest one containing class loaders runtime environments and execution engines jre basically include the jvm as well as some extra functionalities jdk includes all of them into the one sheet right so if you see this diagram uh, jdk directory we have 1.8 jdk downloaded in the bin folder we have all the development tools J we have private jre also which is included so jre will include the jvm also side by side which we all know right and we have source code documentation also libraries also extra libraries which are added whereas in jre you can directly download it's a public jre directly from java.com you can download right so all this are important that we have explained overall in a simple manner so do like this video i hope this video helps the difference between jdk jre and jvm one more thing which i want to highlight is uh, how this code works you have a source code in java which is basically compiled by using a file known as a program known as java c please remember java c is available in jdk which will basically do a compilation this compilation is basically converted into byte code this byte code is convert basically run by the different jvm so platform independent what exactly is the thing which is platform independent in this byte code is the thing which is platform independent what exactly is the thing which is plat not 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 the platform independent jvms are different for different uh, oss as well as the mobile phones so jvm for mac will not work on jvm for windows jvms are different they are platform dependent please note that so please explain this core funda of java which is write once and run anywhere which is nothing but a byte code which we have, they are basically telling you this byte code is responsible which can be run anywhere this is why it was more popular in the market at the time okay so J this is what the difference is i hope this is clear jdk versus jre as well as this uh jre so if you want to develop your programs then only use jdk uh, if you want to execute your program then use jre jvm is responsible for executing java program live my line and it is also known as the interpreter this is what exactly it is right so type jvm in the chat i will explain you jvm in the next uh, video and if you want 30 days of java videos also that promoter please create 30 days of java series into this let me know in the chat just type 30 days and give it a like we have a target for 100 likes and 100 comments the moment we have i will start creating the videos around java also so give me a like as well as give a share also if somebody needs this video thank you all for watching i'll see you in the next video bye bye